Hello, Bruce here from Panasonic, and in this video I'm going to show you how to tune in your Panasonic TV to a satellite. Now this video specifically applies to Panasonic TVs using the Google TV operating system. If you have a Fire TV or a My Home Screen model, I have a separate video for those. So that includes TVs like the W70, the W80, or the NX800. So let's get started. First, select the remote control and press the input button and scroll down until you get to satellite. So you might be set up on Google TV Home or Antenna, but make sure you select satellite before you access the menu. Then you'll be directed to the satellite tuning menu if you haven't tuned in already. Select satellite tuning, select free view, and then select your region. So I'm in Auckland, so I'll tune in for Auckland. Now, here's where you'll be directed to the satellite tuning menu. So we only have one satellite that our free-to-air signals come in from, and that's Optus D1, so select OK to select that satellite. Then select your transponder frequency. Again, there's only one option here, so select OK, because that's our transponder that we tune in. Now, you'll notice down the bottom that there is no signal quality and zero signal level. Now, this could be because our LMB type is incorrect based on the TV settings versus what you actually have on your satellite dish. So if you select the right button and then go to LMB type, select OK, here you can change to a different LMB type. So LMBs in New Zealand are usually between 10750 or 11300. So currently we're on 11300, so I'm gonna select 10750. There we go, look at that, my signal has returned. LMB power is automatically on, which is good because if you have no other devices, then it won't tune in. So now that we're getting signal, I'm gonna press the blue button to scan in my satellite signals. Preview channels, enter. Perfect, now you've tuned in Freeview through the satellite. Just press OK to skip through this uh, startup guide. and It'll tell you all about downloading apps, the EPG, and how it manages the TV tuner digitally. Now you will need to set up a PIN number for parental controls. Make sure you write this down somewhere safe and make it an easy PIN. You can't use four zeros, so I'm gonna use four ones. Confirm your PIN number. And now we have TV. Perfect, so if you press the option button on your remote control, you'll have these options here. So you've got a program guide, it'll tell you what's on across all channels, or you can go and specify what program you might be looking for based on these different categories. When you press option, if you also get new channels available, then they'll show up here. And of course, you can access your recorder programs or start recording when you plug in a USB hard drive disc. Now these options are all in your remote control, so it makes it nice and easy to be able to record exactly what's going on on your TV. Now if you find that you're not getting very good signal still, you may need to take a closer look at your satellite dish. For this next part, I do recommend getting a professional to check it out, but there are a couple of things that you can have a closer look at if it's safe to do so. Now if you're still not getting signal, you may need to check out the condition of your satellite dish, because there may be some things externally that are affecting your signal. So, first thing to check out, assuming that you can safely access or visibly see your dish, like I can, uh, is the LMB. Now if the LMB is showing signs of wear, and this is usually things like mold or a bit of, you know, <laughs> growth on the outside, or if you've got water droplets that you can see inside the lens, then this is a clear sign that your LMB needs to be replaced. Second thing to check out is whether your satellite dish is correctly aligned. Now you won't be able to test this unless you've got a satellite meter and the satellite meter is set up to the correct settings for your region. The third thing to check out is whether you've got any tall trees or obstructions in front of your dish that are affecting the signal's triangulation coming in from space. Uh, however, this is a much, much more involved process. And as I said, if you don't have a satellite meter or you can't safely access your dish, then it's time to get a satellite tuning professional. They'll come along, often replace the LMB, realign your dish and check the signal, and then you'll be able to retune your TV in downstairs. Perfect. Well, that's it for this video. If you are looking for more information, please check out Panasonic.com or check out some of our other training videos on YouTube. Thanks for watching. See you next time.